I'm Tim Frost, and if you're new to video editing, this guide will take you through all the basics of the new Vegas Movie Studio 14, so you can get going and make videos. So you've opened up Vegas, and this is what you'll see. At the top you have the main toolbar, where you open new projects, save them, and make them into movies. The transport and editing toolbar is at the bottom. That gives you all the play controls and access to all important editing tools. The docking area here is where you bring in all the clips, audio and stills, and where you choose effects transitions and text tools, and a whole range of video effects. This is a track list area, which controls each of the tracks on your timeline whether they are videos, audio or text. There are two kinds of tracks, video text and sound. The timeline is where all the work is done. You put all your clips here, order them, adjust them and match them up to make your video. And last but not least is the preview monitor, where you can see everything you're doing while you're doing it. That's the basics of the workspace, so let's make a video. First thing you do is set up the video settings and where you want to store it. Create a folder for each video so you can always find all your content. If you're in the Americas or Japan, set this to the NTSC TV standard. For most of the rest of the world, use PAL. Stick to stereo and choose your quality. You've more than likely got a high def video camera of some sort which means choosing the 1920 by 1080 size, which is high def. Give your project a name and tell your computer where to store the files. Now you're all set up and ready to go. Copy your video clips into your project folder and drop them into the project media window. Now put them on your timeline in the order you think you want them. As you drop them into the video channel, you'll see the audio appears on the audio track underneath it. Also, you see the thumbnails of the frames of the clip, which is a useful guide to where you are. You can have as many channels as you need, just add them. If you now hit play, you'll play it all through the preview window, and you can see the cursor moving to where you are on the timeline. Now you can move the clips around and change the order. Use the zoom bar here so you can look closer or zoom out to see all of the clips. If a clip is too long, you can shorten from the start or from the end by simply dragging the end stops till it's the right length. Once the clips are more or less in the right place, click on the auto ripple. Now, as you move one clip, everything after it moves as well so you don't lose any of your edits. So far, i put each clip hard against each other, which is fine, but sometimes you'll want to fade between clips. Just pull the clips so that they overlap, and Vegas does a cross-fading for you. Now also, it's nice to fade in at the start and fade out at the end. At the end of the clip, go to the top corner, and you see the cursor changes to the fade function. Just drag it in a bit, and you have a nice fade. Vegas gives you lots of special effects, from sepia to swirls, changing colours or adding old-fashioned film effects. Go to Video Effects, and drop the effect on the FX icon on the clip, and make any adjustments, and then it's all done. Let's add a bit of text at the start. Go to Media Generators, Titles and Text. Choose a text effect that you like and drop it onto the text channel. Type in the words you want, set the colours, trim it to the length you want and fade it in and out and there's the text done. You may well want to add some music. You have to be careful here as most music you hear is copyrighted which means that you should get permission to use it which isn't easy. So if you're going to make your video public, say on YouTube, you need to use copyright-free music. 
Google, amongst others, have collections of free-to-use music. Drop the music on the music track. Use the volume control to adjust the level. Now your video is done. All you need to do is tell Vegas to put it together as a movie. Go to Make Movie and select what you want to do with the final movie. Here I'm saving it to my hard drive, but you can send it to your social accounts or create a DVD. Select the format. I always stick to MP4 for general use and use as high quality as you need. Then sit back and let it make the movie. And if it's in HD, this will take quite some time. So this is by way of an introduction to a very simple flowers video. Enjoy. So that's a whistle stop tour through all the basics of making your first video with Vegas 14. There is so, so much more you can do with Vegas. So have a look at the other videos in my Vegas channel for more ideas, hints and tips. If this has been useful to you, like it and subscribe for regular new tutorials and ideas. And if you have questions, put them straight into the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.